Yo, YouTube, what up? Army ATC22 coming back at you uh, bright and early uh, before <laughs> 5 o'clock. Got to drive south to Raleigh, North Carolina for their big mega show happening today and tomorrow. Um, close to 450 tables. There's a trade night at Oak City Sports Cards tonight. So hopefully I can get some footage. It's been a while since I've done card vlog footage at shows. Um, I get too busy. Um, I'm going to try my hardest. And it's, and honestly, it's awkward. When people that vlog and understand and everything, like, you know, like, hey, you know, if I don't have someone filming for me, you know, it's all on me. This is my, this is my phone that's doing it. Um, a lot of the influencers have their own cameraman. So it's just like, I make a deal and I'm like, hey, um, can I get this on video right afterwards? So... Maybe I try a new tactic with that aspect so you guys can see. I'd like to see the negotiations, right, between back and forth. For me, it's really easy. I'm like, that's good. All right, show me the comp. Bye. Um, but, yep, yeah, trade night. Oak City Sports Cards tonight. Um, hopefully get some footage there. If I go, it's a long day. So I don't know if I'll even go. But uh, excited. Have some new stuff that's with me. I'm trying some new things. And uh, you'll see that in a video shortly because I'm going to show you everything. But first, it's raining. I got to drive two and a half hours south. So let me get on the road. And uh, all right. Hope everyone's doing good. Countdown's on to the Nationals, baby. I said the Nationals too. Gosh. To the National. No S. National. The Nationals are up north and we suck. But all right, <laughs> now we can. All right, just finished uh, bringing everything in. Everyone is setting up. Good show. Now it's time to put everything together showcases, value spots, everything. Um, raining right now, supposed to stop. Hopefully, it'll be good. This time you see me, because we all filled. Hopefully, see some people. All right, everything's fine. Let me set up. Got a little bit of memorabilia jerseys, some eight by tens, bigger. Get the slabs, slabs, raw. Just sold something already. These Debo Optic Auto, raw, raw, more raw, more raw. Priced slabs, cheap slabs. All in here. Then get to the value boxes. NFL, NBA, MLB. Then I've actually, I've never done this before, but I have a $2 gun. These are all mainly refractors, somewhat, whatever. And 50 cents. Mainly base, mainly rookies. Um, you know, whatever. Rookies, 50 cents per. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I have a soccer and other sports. Look at this. Oh, Chichi Rodriguez auto. But there's other things in here. You know, UFC, but mainly soccer. So, that's what I got. Next to my boy, Patrick. RVA. Um, yep. Do the hot corner. Gonna be here two days. Today and tomorrow. All right, first uh, major deal at the Raleigh show. Sold a good bit of raw stuff out. Big players, Sean Taylor, rest in peace, and LeBron, D. Wade, Bryce Hall, Brees Hall, I should say. Actual jersey number, Otto, T. Law. How many times? How much? How many times have you seen a Tony Pollard silver um, prism auto? So the man here, where can they find you? Uh, James Garage and whatnot. James Garage on whatnot. Actually, I think I've been in your room multiple times. Let's go. So thanks for the deal. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it Thank you. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. All right. I just want to show you this. Pick up 151 Prism Color. You know, a lot of basic players, not really big players, but people actually, you know, you know the teams and stuff collect these things. 151 numbered cards. You have to think, right? There's 10 pack, 12 packs per box, right? So that's over 10 boxes, almost a case, or a case of prison close to a parallels. Got for less than $100. They're a dollar card, and they end up giving me a good deal for, for all of them. 
it's it's a no-brainer. Throw these in my value boxes for people who are collecting and go from there. Friday, midday, three o'clock. Show's been open for two hours now. Two hours. My table starting to be slim. A lot of things coming out. The books used to be full cool over there. Big sales are happening. A lot of people out on a Friday. It's great to see. Raleigh, North Carolina. All right, let's go. He's being really safe. Really safe. The show is still going strong. I just came to the table, picked it up. My first Eminence card, Derek Henry, on card 5 of 5 from uh, last year's Eminence. I don't know if they're going to do one this year or not, 2022. This card is so thick. Look at this. All right, still going strong here in Raleigh. All right, I'm here at the Raleigh card show. It's end, end, the day's ending. We've got a little about an hour left. Caden came up to the table. Caden, what did you just buy from me? Uh, I just bought uh, the Kembe Matumbo Auto Court Kings. Yeah, this is the box topper back in the day. You know how the box topper on card auto of a Hall of Fame legend, you know Matumbo. You know what his, uh, what he used, to, what he would do in a game. Yeah, look at that. Look at him. He knows his basketball. So, Caden, you said this is your first card show. Yes. Right. So, give give us a little bit. How how's the show been for you? So it's been. Good. I've gotten some pretty good deals. I think I've gotten more deals than you, right? <laughs> um, but uh, I got a Kawhi PSA 10 and uh, Donovan Mitchell uh, PSA 9 for both for 40 bucks. Look at that. And I got this from you for 30. Look at that. So, so what have you learned in your first card show? Um, pretty much like see if they're willing to do. Uh, what's it called? Offers? Yeah, negotiations. See if you can go back and forth. Um, or just look for the best prices in the $1 box, 50 yeah. cents. Because that's, that's where right. I got a bunch of my cards. The, Good. like $1 boxes. Good. And I got like two old rookies. Uh, Zach Levine. Jimmy Butler, I think it was. And I got uh, good cards from those boxes. That's awesome. You take the time to actually look for the stuff and you, you find some hidden gems, right? Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate you stopping by. I'm glad I can talk to you and your dad over here today. And I, I'm glad you had a good time. Yep. Right? Go to Thank go you. to more card shows just if you can just see the stuff, right? Yeah. Go out there and uh, and just explore. Yeah. Like, what, what else are you going to be doing right now, right? Um, You're going to go home and watch YouTube. I mean, Cause he, yeah. Because he said, he said he gets his... his it's time on YouTube tonight, so. You watch yeah. a lot of YouTube. Yeah. And I'm probably going to go on your channel. Yeah, all right. I'm ATC22. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Here, show's winding down about an hour. Two trying to jump away, Patrick. Winding down, hour left of the show. My cut presidential auto just got sold. Now, Evan here, where can they find you online? Evan, um, Evan Foyer Scene, or Get Cards Here, or Hebrew Hammer Cards on eBay. All right. Just bought my... Woodrow Wilson cut autograph from Razor Sharp Breaks that pulled it for me. Hey, nice car. thank you. I appreciate, sure. it. appreciate it. All right. Show's ended up. Stuff still sounded. This show's been great, and this is only day one. Yo, what up? I'll do a little recap from the show today. A few pickups at the very end. Um, yeah, so did a few trades. Bought some stuff right before I left. Curry Auto from Leaf out of 30. I, haven't had, I don't know if I've ever had a Curry Auto. I have. A rookie <laughs> and then uh this is peyton manning downtown psa 10 2021 but uh it, man you can't can't beat that psa 10 came up to the table near the end of the show um today it's been great um got some boxes i haven't opened these i'm gonna do some box break videos into this how about that um however clearly don russ um do a little recap for you tyreek gold um gold color or whatever not actual gold thornton rookie bell rookie mcbride rookie haskins rookie aguilera rookie burks gonna have someone throw it to him now will love it's drake london who has ritter throwing to him uh, nick chubb 175 purple um this is the mosaic highlights josh allen that's actually a decent card and then the hit of the box is actually this mosaic hollow of a uh, case hit rated rookie. These guys from 2020. I got shorter than auto. This is huge card, actually. <laughs> it's huge. Um, but, of course, I'm shorter than auto, Panini. Um, 
them, yeah. But later on, actually right following this, the Revolution. I had to get, you know, basketball in. And last year's Bowman University. It's not licensed for Bowman First of Stroud and Bryce Young. But overall today, great day, great day. Um, met a lot of people, a lot of people came up and talked to me. Shout out to everybody that did um, in this video. Hopefully we get more tomorrow, but uh, it's been a long day. I'm hungry. Um, I'm gonna get some food and then come back, bust these boxes. So I'll see y'all right after this, actually. I'm back. When's the last time I've done a box break on camera? It's been a while, right? So let's do the Bowman U, first year of it, right? Non-licensed, looking for those Bowman first um, Stroud and Youngs. Two chrome autos per pack. Hopefully my uh, my luck still continues. I've been searching up the the clearly box that didn't have an auto, but uh, I guess this parallel the mosaic. It's like the one. There's only one other better. I guess there is a one of one. Maybe I don't know. But this is the gold. Whatever. It's one for bids close to four hundred right now, or you can buy it now as another one for like 1200 what a hit right bowman u barely any cards in here oh yeah because it's not chrome desmond ritter bowman first and first card uh tamar mcphee is that a refractor i think it's refractor dj ugrali my bowman first uh, the chrome autos yet two chrome autos nick starkle a lot of bum stuff a lot of these you know these these um these type of cards go in the value bins all right that's why i, I like uh opening this stuff golden boy graham mertz because i can Put these in the, the dollar value bins, the 50 cents, you know. Matt Corral, he's done for now, right? Scott Thompson, what up? But, yeah, we'll see. So John Robinson, going to Atlanta? Yeah, I think Atlanta. Comment below if you guys want to see more. What about a time for this? Out of 75, 41 to 75. First Bowman would be John Robinson. It's pretty nice. Top 10 pick. Just talking about it. Comment below, I was saying, comment below if you guys want to see more of me opening stuff. All right. These are very inexpensive. Of course, the genre is clearly this Bowman U, because it's not all chrome, it's a lot of paper. Bo Nix, Chris Olave. Uh, a lot of people don't like the unlicensed stuff, however, it's me. You know, this is technically, you know, Zay Flowers. Mertz. Remember Mims? Really. Um, the possibility of, you know, Bryce Young, Stroud, their first stuff. Just wanted to open it up for the price I got it for, too. Why not, right? DJ Chrome card, and you can feel the difference of the packs that have a chrome card and the packs do not. Sam Howe, and what do you know, DJ? So, everyone's doing good. If you've continued to watch all the way through, I appreciate it. And wow, that's a decent first auto, Desmond Ritter. Nice. I will take that all day. Is he going to be the guy? I haven't want. I should be watching the draft right now. I'm 
seeing what, what they're doing. Look at that. Oof. It's like this, this box knew that these guys were going to be teammates. Ritter and Robinson. All right, look at those odds. Peyton Thorn. Thorn in my butt. Peyton Thorn Bowman first. Non numbered parallel. Looks like a shimmer. Some type of shimmer. Not one of those Desmond Ritter fatties. Fatties. Show today was incredible. Oh, gold. <laughs> Talk about a box. How about Will Levitz at a 75 auto? <laughs> Peter's on, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that box. What is happening? What is that? Hot hands is back, baby. Who wants me to do group breaks again? Let's do this. Holy crap. Can he pick it? Paper. All this paper, you know, adds up. It's paper base. Um, dollar here, fifty cent here. And a lot of booming first. And a lot of people that actually collect the football. You know, the the teams. You know, Lave with Ohio State. Um, you know, and all that. Came in here looking for for Stroud and and Young. Haven't seen either. But Stroud. <laughs> toa Toya. As soon as I say that, I haven't seen Stroud or Young and I get a Stroud. Um, because that's you know the main people are looking for, but I guess also Will Levitz. Drop to the second round, see what he can do. Kenzie Milton. Two packs to go. It's gonna be a long video throwing these box breaks into this, but you know, it's hard not to when you get um, Jordan Battle purple. Not numbered? Oh, interesting. Not numbered purple. Battelle. Prospects. So, last pack. No magic. Nope. And there we go. Um, overall, great box. <laughs> I think so. What do you think? Um, I'll come back. Another break. All right, day two of the Raleigh show. Um, first off, Revolution box sucks. I don't. I did not want to show you guys that video. Um, there are the winners and losers. That one was so bad. It's not even video worthy. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. Walk the floor. Um, actually picked up a few things real quick before the show started. Moss St. Brown Auto. Had to replenish. Um, Kenneth Walker. Let me see a Herbert. Um, no, no, let me see the T Law. Um, Kenneth Walker Auto out of 199. My boy uh, Patrick over here at RVA picked up this nasty, look at this, one of three Trevor Lawrence. If anyone's interested in this, hit me up. I will uh, get you in contact with them. Look at that, that clean auto. That auto is a full sticker. For him, you know, that's rare. But uh, it's pretty sick. One of three. Like I said, if anyone's interested in it, let me know. Um, shout out Pete Az. Look at those epic signatures of uh, Yogi Bear. Right. And then lastly, I haven't had one of his autos. And this auto is almost all on card. Dirk. It's actually the, the, the end of it, right next to the 41. and goes off from uh, 1617. So I picked these up in a big lot. These four for today. And then I also got some some slabs. Um, Tatis rookies. You know, Chrome update rookies. A whole bunch of them. Um, Kuno, Ron Antonio Jr. I, I wanted uh, Soto. I wanted some, some slabs. I got a lot of slabs. I wanted to put them in my, my slab box. Um, people just love going through them. But we'll see how today goes. Um, I got a box that's pretty interesting. I'm going to show you probably right after this. Um, I got to finish setting up. It's almost time for it to open. Today's probably going to be crazy. It's going to be hot. Um, day two, Raleigh. So I did something uh, off the wall. Did one of these Disney 100 uh, from my source. 
this is what I got. I think these are just rares. It's so beautiful. No, I don't know. But uh, Goofy, Pluto, Donald, Mary Poppins. Like, look at these. These are beautiful. Lilo and Stitch. From Toby. Whoa, it's like the first few Winnie. And what's this? Princesses. Another rare. Rare. These, these are just these are just all beautiful. Steamboat really type of. And then I get to I guess they're RRs. I just see really rares, right? Spider-Man. Look at those, just pops. And the princesses all here. Bell. And then I think these are secret rares. It's a SR. From uh, Princess and the Frog, right? And look at this one. This one's beautiful from Little Mermaid. And then look at this. Da -dum. This is um, HDN or whatever. I don't know. These just cards are beautiful. Figured I'd show them. Doing like getting out of my comfort zone for once. And you know, these are beautiful. All right. I think this is this set's beautiful. Saturday morning, 10 o'clock. It's an hour into the show. Pat. Everywhere you got supplies, Pokemon, pops, everything you can think of. It's awesome. We're gonna set up again over here in the corner. What's up? So it's been a slow day today. Um, a lot of value box picking, um, but there's more of the slabs and, and more raw, higher price stuff selling yesterday. Uh, this is the ups and downs of being a vendor, right? Being able to sit here and just wait. Like, I like to walk around. That's why, I'll, That's why. you know, if you want to set up a show, set up a show. Sometimes don't set up a show. So you can walk around, talk to individuals. Um, not every time you're going to have people come up to you. So I um, had a lot of discussions, a lot of discussion about the draft. It's been happening this weekend, of course, since it's happening in the NBA playoffs. Uh, it's been uh, pretty, in pretty interesting. A lot of football in and out the door. Baseball, people are prospect hunting constantly. Um, no vendors here had Bowman baseball because they're talking about allocations and stuff. Um, no UFC prison. I actually wanted a box of that. Looking for the Hezbula. Um, but there's a couple of vendors, a lot of retail, still a lot of retail out there. Um, I bought another box of the Disney, uh, all sports. I really like that stuff. Look at my man. But uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll get another video in. If not, it'll be a recap and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you guys for watching if you made it this far. All right, looks like one final deal before uh, we're heading out. Got about 45 minutes left before the show will close. Heading out for me, I did a trade, Nick. Nick, where can they find you at? Uh, Suds Cards on Instagram. Suds Cards on Instagram. So Nick actually came up and he's like, I think I followed you in 2011. Yeah. And that's 12 years ago. Pretty long that's time. crazy, isn't it? <laughs> right? So going out, he's, he's picking up the pool holes auto and the Franz auto. He is a huge... Franz PC. You can PC. tell, Franz PC. What do you know? Lucky number 22, baby. Got it on. Right? <laughs> and I, trading it for... Durant auto out of 25 on card from signatures 9510. Hey, I appreciate the deal. Of course, always perfect. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, check them out. Hey, thanks you guys for watching. As always, catch you later. All right, I'm back. Um, day after the show weekend, Sunday, a um, little bit in the afternoon. Spent all morning watching uh, the Netflix show with uh, Golden and everything, the collectibles. Um, mini review real quick on it. Uh, it did feel scripted. Um, showed a lot of good content behind the scenes and stuff and everything. You know what they do, but it did have a Pawn Stars type of feel. You know, the later ones when they're going places and stuff. Or even um, Pickers, American Pickers type feel. Um, I don't know. I didn't really look into it if Netflix reached out to them or or not, but it seemed to me that that might have been filmed and then shopped around, honestly. 
because each episode started, um, you know, this week and this week, this week, like it's supposed to be a weekly thing. Um, but overall, you know, bring some, some, you know, limelight to the collectible community. Um, we'll see where it goes. Hopefully roll it into, you know, that movie Adam Sandler's um, supposed to be making. And uh, should be good. Good for the hobby. More individuals out there. See what it does for the national. Maybe maybe more not limelight for celebrities coming to the national this year or something. But we'll see. But uh, the Raleigh show, you know, this is a wrap up. Um, good two-day show. I had more traffic Friday than I did Saturday. A lot more. And almost everyone else was opposite. It's crazy. It always happens when I do a Friday and Saturday show. I'd have no clue why. Um, still very, very successful, successful weekend. A lot of stuff going in. Not as much stuff. A lot of stuff going out. Not a lot of stuff coming in. Um, so I do have a little bit extra cash uh, to spend on to, to get more inventory. But yeah. But uh, while I was there, you know, throughout the video, you've seen some of the pickups and things that I was doing. But I'm going to go ahead and show uh, some, some stuff again for anyone that might have passed through and it actually stayed this long. Um, like I saw, I, I actually did two boxes of the Disney watch shorts. Um, I think this stuff's beautiful. Like here is one of the rares. Um, these cards just pop. Iconic characters. Mickey. You know, this is a rare. This is a... I think these are double rares. Like, it just looks beautiful. Shiny stuff. You know, you got print all the princesses. You got Belle there. I mean, even... I mean, there's Cinderella, right? Um, even Spider-Man, Iron Man. These are, these are, um, double rares. And then, uh, I think this one's also a pretty nice one. Uh, Mickey Mouse Club membership. Howdy, folks. Like, that's just, it, it looks like it's gonna be an iconic, um, type of set. Secret rares, you know, from Finding Nemo. There's Nemo, self. Um, these are people, these are characters that a lot of everyone knows, right? Um, it seems like every box has one of these stamps with the Disney 100. Um, these two, of course, Mandalorian's huge. That looks, it's a beautiful, this card is beautiful. And this Winnie the Pooh parallel, like, but, um, yeah, the main ones you're looking for with, with the stamps. And a lot of these have specific ones. Um, and then you're looking for the Steamboat Willie. I believe that's what it was. But I ended up in my second box, I ended up getting one of the, um, SPs, um, Luke Skywalker. See how it has the stamp? Like, there's a Jack Sparrow one that has a big, like, pirate emblem type thing stamped in it. The, the, the cards go an outrageous amount. This is around, like, a $100 card. Um, it's pretty sweet. Um, my plan is, is I'm gonna take these. I'm actually probably gonna send these all into grading. They all look extremely, really good. Um, possibly even gonna send like this one to Beckett to try to get a 10. I'm gonna look over the surface. The surface, I mean, everything else looks great. Um, I've seen a lot of stuff coming back back at 10s. Um, so we'll see, right? I've never sent in the Beckett and got a 10, so well, we'll see. But this one's the biggest one. But all these, I'm probably gonna get tons of them slabbed. I have so many rares and double rares and stuff and all these slabbed and just have them to for the future or you know to sell to individuals and stuff um, the bo this box you know is relatively more less inspect and less expensive compared to the cacao -ca whatever you, however you say it um but uh and it could be a long-term hold but we'll see like these are iconic characters that people know just because it's in japanese you can't read it yeah um other boxes i opened um i did open that uh in the video you've seen the Bowman U hit that Will Levitt auto out of 75. Pretty, pretty nice. Bowman first. And then uh, at the show, the, the clearly Don Ross mosaic hollow variation of this rated rookie super short print. I don't think this is actually considered one of the case hits. People are saying that it was. It's just really, really short printed. Um, there's only four in the set. So... Um, I'm glad I got this and the hollow. Like, this card's ridiculous in price. I have to look. The last I saw one was like right at 400 with a day or so left. Might even be sold by now. But they made the box. And the box didn't have an auto, which is crazy because majority of boxes do. But of course, the one box that had this did not. So I'm going to 
send in a panini. I know it says on average, but I'll send it into him and say, and then get an auto. We'll see. Uh, but pickup wise, um, you know, you've seen some of these. Yogi Berra Epic Signatures. It's just beautiful on card. Um, Yogi Berra Auto from um, Upper Deck. Beautiful, beautiful card. Uh, Dirk from 2016 Complete. You don't see this card that much either. Um, his whole autograph is technically on on the st sticker. And if you say that he stopped right on the edge of the sticker, I think it actually goes off. But still, beautiful, beautiful card. It looks actually really good too. I'm gonna have to pull it out and look at the. I might. I'm, I'm trying to start getting into more grading. I'm not 100 sure because I, I do like the selling it raw. And then uh, from Leaf and the game used sports out of 30, the Chef Chef Curry auto. Um, Pretty thick card, but uh, yeah. So there's all the raws um, for the greatest stuff that I picked up. This Babe Roof Stadium Club X Fractor. This I believe is a, is like a pop three or four, one of the two. Beautiful looking card. Um, just want to have some type of diversity in my you know my portfolio or my 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 um. Showcases and stuff, and I figured I picked this up for a decent price. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful card. All right. Oh, Josh Allen, PSA 9. The price I got it for. Couldn't beat it. Um, and then, you know, the last deal that you guys saw traded away Pool Holst and um, the Franz Autos for this 12 13 um, on card auto from Signatures, 10 of 25. He had the two, 10 and 25, you get his jersey number. I'm not gonna say what that is, but uh, beautiful 9510 on card auto of Durant. Arguably one of the best players in the league, even though they got crushed by um, the Nuggets last night. So, but I thought it was a good trade and everything. And last, um, pick this up. I believe it was right before the end of Friday. Um, Peyton Manning downtown PSA 10. Yeah, it came up to the table right before he's right before the end of the show. And uh, what was really funny was at the show yesterday, at the very end, we're starting to pack up. A guy came over, he's like, I spent way too much money today. He's like, I shouldn't really be looking. And he looked down, and he's like, are you kidding me? He's like, I've looked for this Peyton Manning downtown all day, but I didn't get over to this table. He spent way too much money, he said. I'm like, well, spent a little bit more, but he didn't. Um, he's a guy that actually comes to all our shows around here, so there's a good chance he'll probably be picking it up soon. But overall, um, everyone that came out, everyone that was in the vlog, thank you. Um, appreciate all the conversations. Um, my boy Patrick and his daughter, uh, they were set up right next to me, RVA Collectibles. Um, I, I appreciate it. You know, every time I went to the bathroom, got some food, you know, walked around real quick. You guys washed my table. Since I'm by myself, um, I really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, the hobby is about the people, not about the money and the cards and everything. Got plenty of that, right? Um, it's about talking, interacting. Um, great weekend too, because of the draft, a lot of speculations. I had, I think I started with six Garrett Wilson autos. I, I just, just somehow got six Garrett Wilson autos between trades and breaks and stuff. And I only have two left after this weekend. Figured all six would have been gone, but... They, they went quick. But uh, that's all I have for the Raleigh show. Next weekend, well, this weekend coming up, um, May 6th, be at the Field House in Virginia Beach. Um, set up one of their bigger shows. Uh, should be should be a good show. Taylor Heineke is gonna, actually going to be there. Dwight Gooden's actually going to be there. If you're in the area close by, come down to the beach. Go down, go to the show. Um, it's an all-day type of show. I'll be set up, have three tables. Um, come by, say hi. Um, don't know if I'm going to make a vlog. It is. It gets kind of busy, and it's hard to, you know, be video at the same time. But this video is probably extremely long now. Um, anyone that has stayed this long, thank you um, for watching. Um, if you haven't, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Um, go to my go to my Instagram. All my information is in the description box. Um, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, if I don't see you at the next show.
Maybe I'll see you in the National in Chicago. Hey, uh, everyone that watches the YouTube videos, um, that's going to be in Chicago. What are your thoughts on going to the White Sox game Friday or Saturday night? Comment below if you want to do a YouTube type uh, link up for baseball game. And we can try to get seats in the same area or whatever. I know me and my girlfriend, because she's coming with me. Um, we were wanting to go, I'm wanting to go. I haven't been to the White Sox stadium. I've been to Wrigley, but you know, the Cubs are out of town that weekend, but the White Sox are not. Um, so thinking about, you know, see if anyone wants to go. I definitely want to check out a game while I'm there. So, and check, you know, mark off the, the White Sox actual stadium off my bucket list. But that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching, and always, deuces.